today we're going to be looking at the Shinola Detroit headphones. So these are discontinued and I picked them up for quite a good deal and they do have a reputation of looking better than they sound. But because of their original price around four to five hundred dollars I was very curious how nice they really are and how bad they sound. Alright so let's get them open and check it out. All right, so my wife actually picked these up from one of those really fancy stores in the mall. They were marked down quite heavily from their original price to the new price of $112. So we went ahead and bit the bullet on these things because that's quite a good reduction there. And I'm sure there's good quality in these things either way you look at it. So I'll probably be a little biased toward them because I got them for such a good deal. So if you find these on sale, it might still be worth getting them today. So Shinola Detroit, they make a bunch of stuff like luxury things. But I think this is their first over the year headphones. So they have a few models. I think this is the larger one, which has the 50 millimeter diameter drivers. They also have a 40 millimeter. Uh, in any case, it does come packed like this. It's kind of like a retail box. It even has this little hanger here. So here's my little price tag there. So here we have some features and specs, some technical specifications right here. Very nicely presented box. So we have some premium leather and even sheepskin leather there. So in any case, very nice presentation. So we have one, two, three, four seals around. And then we have the top portion here that slides right up. So under the retail cover, this is what we get a really nice black box. There's the Chanel Detroit logo there. So the top cover here comes off. And this is what you're greeted with. So it looks like it's a case. Let's go ahead and pull it out. And then behind that we have looks like some kind of certificate. So this is a certificate of authenticity from Shinola. Very nice. It's got like a little stamp here also. Here in the back it kind of tells you how to register the product. This definitely makes you feel a little special and we can see here the date. So they're quite dated already. So in the box we also have this booklet here. It's also quite nicely presented and it is actually the manual. So we have six languages. Very nice. And that's everything for the box. Very clean, very nice box. Great presentation. All right, so here is our case. It is pretty nice. I wouldn't say it's amazing or anything. It's got like this fabric, so it's okay feeling. The zipper is nice and large, and this has got a, like a leather strap here to pull on. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, and this is what we have. So it looks like we have a little baggie here, and this is our headphones and a silica packet to keep the moisture out. So just initially looking at the phones, they look awesome. Let's see what's in this baggie right quick. All right, so here we have the cable. So we have two ends that plug into the phones. Then as you go down, there is a microphone little piece here. And then if you go down farther, you have the controller here. And then farther down, you have the plug that you plug into your source. And actually guys, I think this whole headphones here are mostly made for or compatible with iPhone or Apple products. So I kind of forgot to mention, but here you can see it's made for iPod, iPhone, iPad. So it's specifically designed for that. All right, so let's take a closer look at these things. So it looks like, so there's like a foam here that kind of gives it some form that holds them apart. All right, guys, and this is what they look like. They're very, very nice and attractive looking. They're definitely high quality. If I can show you up close here, and hey, look at that stitching in that band there. It's quite nice. Just everything looks very premium and feels very premium. So it appears to be no plastic at all that I can tell. So we got leather here. We got nice cushion here. Not very cushiony, but has a little bit of cushion. So I have, have a feeling that this might give you some pressure. And by the way, they are quite heavy also. 
And so as we go down here, we can see that there, this piece here is all metal also. Very nice looking. And you can see that we're labeled there left. And then the piece here is also metal. It looks like it does slide in and out just like that. It's got a pretty nice like progressive slide. Very cool. So and it does have a little bit of swivel. Not very much, but it has a little bit. So this here is all metal. I think it's aluminum maybe or something like that. This is also metal. Here we have the Shinola, I guess, logo, which is kind of like a little lightning. So then we go to the cup here, and the cushion is very soft. So very pleasant. And I think this is some kind of lambskin. It's different than this, and you can even tell the color is a little different. Like this has a hard feel to it, and this has a very soft feel to it. Very nice. Feels very premium. And then inside of that we have a little black mesh. So everything about these phones just scream I'm high end. So sometimes you know when you look at pictures you can't really tell what's nice or not. And these are one of those things I think. They don't really look on pictures like they're you know too high end. But when you get them in your hand and you hold them and you touch them. This is truly a premium product here. So no plastic whatsoever at least here on the phones. And you can see that they do swivel out like this. This is how we took them out of the case so you can wear them on your neck and flip them over and even setting them down in this position is possible also. So another feature of these things is the ear cups here they actually pop out. They're magnetically held so if you pull on them hard enough they'll pop out and then you can see the driver inside. Very nice. One, two, three, four magnets and I'm guessing this is probably a steel plate or something steel underneath this that magnetizes the cup to the ear. So it just clips on as simple as getting it close and it clips on there. So it doesn't feel like it's going to come off easy, you know, and the only way it comes off is not, you know, pulling it down or up or to the sides. So it's only if you pull it out away from the driver, then it pulls out because it does have like these little nubs here that stop it from going up or down or side to side. So, and that is our 50 millimeter driver in there. So if you guys just look at the detail of quality here, I mean, it's quite amazing how nice these are put together. So these things definitely live up to the premium quality feeling. So it's definitely there. So if you're looking for something that feels premium, this is definitely it. Very nice. So and obviously these pull out here. That's the longest they go there. And you know, you get a little flex on the band on the top. So obviously this metal chrome here is going to be kind of like a fingerprint magnet a little bit but it's actually quite attractive looking you like this look and especially the brown with the chrome is making it feel really nice all right so let's go ahead and pull the little stickers off the cables here and the cable connections are also quite nice this feels metal here and this is gold plated here and then we have a little rubber here at the very end and then the wire itself is braided so i think these are aluminum pieces here because it when i touch it it's cold and then we have our main one here. So on the back of the controller here, we have the brand. And then we have a plus, minus, and probably a pause, play button, slash, you know, answer phone call, or whatnot else. So if we go to the end, we have the usual, typical 3.5 millimeter jack. So this cable totally looks about three and a half to four feet long, not very long. So on the cable itself, we have indicators. It says left and right. And here on the phones, we see that it says left on one side and then right on the other. We're gonna plug left into left, the right into right. And that's how that looks like and it's very nice looking. So I don't have any kind of fancy stand to put these phones on, but I do have this 3D printed stand. I printed it on a 3D printer. And by the way, guys, if you're interested in 3D printers, check out my 3D printing videos. I have a bunch of those. Let's go ahead and hang these things on here. And wow, these things are just awesome looking. So aesthetically, these things look really nice. But the better question is how they sound. Because you don't buy headphones, you know, just for the aesthetics or the premium materials, do you? Maybe you do. Then I think these are kind of like that. So I'm a pretty big Sennheiser fan. And I kind of know what, you know, that sound signature is. More warm up front. So these obviously I know are not going to be the same. But I'd like to test run these things for a few days. And really tell you guys what I think about them. Because it makes me think if a company put so much effort into the product's quality... You would think they would, you know, make a good effort of making good sound, right? So I'm going to give these things a run, and then I'll kind of tell you how what I think about them, and if you should pick these up if you find any. 
All right, guys, so it's been a few days since I listened to these things, and I have to say that they are quite unique. They're definitely different than what I'm used to. So, and one of the things that I realized is that you have to get used to the sound signature. If you're like growing up with a certain brand or a certain expectancy of sound, I've listened to Sennheisers for a very long time, so. I'm very used to that warm, kind of a soft approach to sound and vocals especially. They're very unique as in they're more V-shaped, but there's something weird to them, not just the V-shape. It's the processing highs and the lows that are quite different. It has a very good low, so you will get that nice bass out of them. And it has very, very, I would say, analytical highs. So at first, when I put them on, I was a little bit worried and disappointed because I was expecting something different, but I got way different results. But here's the weird part. As I kept listening to them, I was just being more impressed. And maybe that was songs that I know sounded different. And so I started enjoying the difference. You know, I can totally see why these things don't stand out there as, you know, an amazing headphone. Now, one of the things I did notice that if I plug them into a better source, they sound much better. When I go from an iPad to my computer, which is an iMac, I noticed that the quality was much better. I don't know if it's maybe the streaming or what, or maybe the amps in the computer are a little better. I think if you had higher end equipment, pushing these cans. I don't think they would be much disappointment to the sound here. So now are they worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars? No, I don't think so. The craftsmanship is there, quality is there and the way it was constructed, but the sound quality, I don't think lives up to, you know, at least to the ex perspective expectations of, you know, today's sound. So, and also I've noticed that if you like to listen to more noisy music, kind of like rock or whatever that type of music. These things kind of are just a headache. But if you like to listen to analytical music, and I don't know what that would be, like trance or whatever house music maybe, or even classical music, these things actually sound pretty darn good for that. So anytime there's more detail separation, without being a huge mess in the sound. These things do an amazing job and really takes it to the next level of separation. So, and you do have to feed it with, you know, a good source. So one of the unfortunate parts is that, you know, you're not really able to change this cable. I'm not sure if you can get an aftermarket one or not, but it seems to be fine. But I would like to see an upgrade for this and maybe it's possible to make your own. The controls on here work pretty well overall. So since this is made for iPhone, iPad, Apple products, it works for that. So let me go ahead and put these things on. Maybe I'll go ahead and unplug the wire here. You can guys see what it looks like on my face here, head. So when you put them on, it actually doesn't look that large. They're definitely quite nice looking headphones overall. Speaking about wearing them, one of the issues that I have right away and I thought I would is these little bumps here on the top. They kind of push too hard on your head since these cans are so heavy because this is all metal here. These things really put a weight on your on top of your head and it's at first you're, it's kind of like but then you get used to it and it's fine actually. I forget, I forget. You just have to get used to the weight and at the same time the weight does make them feel premium which is kind of weird. So every time you touch them, move them, put them on, you feel like you put on something really nice. So it kind of feels like a Bentley or a Royals Royce of headphones of just the fit and finish and just what the presentation of these things. So, so not the best sounding, not the best wearing, you know, not the best of what you would want in an everyday use, but very premium and very satisfying. In any case, guys, so I would say these are very nice as a gift for I guess yourself or maybe somebody you know that knows quality items because when you see these you definitely will not say that these are cheap so, so as a luxury item I would give it a A plus for this thing but as a daily headphone that you would use to listen to music I definitely have to give this thing a C or something because they're not that comfortable they don't sound what most people expect them to sound like and they are inconveniable to bring with you kind of because they're heavy and they're just not a practical practical headphone to carry around while you're. The funnest thing to me about them is the sound signature is different and I really enjoy it. So I'd like to pop them out once in a while and just listen to them or even let other people listen to them. If you're, you know, a headphone collector maybe, uh, these might be a pretty good item to grab for the price because they're definitely a showpiece. 
that you can put in your little collection and you never know they might be worth something in 10 20 years who knows all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did then hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this which i do random videos plus i do a lot of 3d printing videos so if you're interested in reviews or 3d printing then hit that subscribe button to see more and i'm not sure if you can pick these up on amazon right now or anywhere else but if i find any links there'll be some in the description so check that out and also check out my other videos i got a lot of interesting reviews and a lot more stuff to come and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace